Hey guys, welcome back again. You're seeing here today. I want to share with you my screening process. Um, uh, even though I use multiple uh, websites to screen for stocks and I have multiple screens, multiple layout, uh, if you just start uh, trading, if you're intermediate, if you just start for a year or so, I recommend Finviz. I think probably you already know you know it, and there's multiple out there. Uh, I like Finviz, I still uh, check it almost on a daily basis and uh let's go ahead and dive in so uh like you see here i have like multiple uh screens uh i use multiple criterias so let's go ahead and use the the new highs usually that's what i the first one i usually go to uh so let's type in real quick i usually want, want to look up for stocks even though they're new highs and you can see i need i need to see stocks i think i mentioned this before i don't trade stocks that are below the 50 moving average I want strong stocks. Usually, strong stocks, strong stocks will be above the moving average. I don't trade uh, penny stocks. I need stocks that be has to be above at least 15. Sometimes I might go to, I mean, above 10, but usually I prefer like 20 dollars and up. And I need some liquidity in the stock, and I don't need stocks that uh, traded below the 200,000 stocks. And from there, as you can see, for today, actually, today is the 8 26th. Um, uh, I will do I, I get like what I have like eight pages down here and usually I will just go this is like just me I go to hit performance and then I go I want to start with the best strong stocks so uh, I will hit that once and then I'll hit it twice and then you can see this like for example Neo it, it's been trade like it, a year to date it has like 343 percent which is uh, really doing good and from there I will just hit charts and then from there man I'm just all all I'm doing I'm just looking and see what what my eyes are attracted to uh, one thing I'll tell you for sure is it's not about what 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 what's the layout what's the settings and all that it's really it's it, it, it's your eyes man you, you really have to, uh, to to do you have to do some homework man you can't just uh, like you I mean I can give you the best setups but at the end of the day it, it's you it's how you look in a chart like for me for example I, I, I'm not really I'm, I'm looking at the stock I'm looking at the chart for each one here individually but it really my eyes has to be attracted to a setup you know what I mean and because I've been doing this like for a while now and and I, and I remember like back in time man I used to just look at the chart I don't even know what I'm what, what I'm looking at but right now with a little bit of experience I just I can I can screen for all the stocks you can give me like so each each one of each each page actually has about 20 stocks I can trade like I can you know I can be here all day and I'll, I'll, I'll be quick at them because I've been do I've been doing this and I've been looking at I've been screening stocks for a while and I, and, and I will never get bored at it um, all right, let's dive in real quick, and I'll, I'll, catch, I'll try to give you some examples. Uh, first thing that I catch up my eyes was like Neo. I think I talked about it like uh, my last video. Let's talk chart. If you, if you want to look back that at, and uh, if, you, if you want to look, go back and look at that video. Uh, attracted my eyes because it was making this uh, higher lows in here, and it was some some uh, some uh, uh, lower highs. If I click on it, you can see that right here. Actually, Finviz way well, I like it sometimes. They we did with this support resistance and the, these moving averages. They kind of give you an idea and help uh, guide you. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll actually uh, trim some of that process of tells you a little bit of the story of the of the, of the stock. Um, yeah, from there, man, I just go ahead and screen and look and see what my eyes are attracted to. And like I said, I don't want to repeat myself. It just takes time. It just takes time. Uh, next page. From there, I'll just look at the strong stocks. Uh, BJZ RMC. I'm just gonna go through this real quick. See what I'm liking at right here. Next one, uh, Ludo. Uh, like for me, like back back into I think like a couple days ago. I think I put this chart right here. IIPR. Uh, I liked it because well, why I was attracted to it because it, the stock dropped down. I think everything dropped down here. And then the stock just kind of make flag. Let me, let me pull up this chart so you can see what I'm talking about here. Uh, the stock actually right in here uh, was this. Uh, let's see. Yep. Mm. The stock had had tighter. Got tighter right in here after this move from here to here. When was that? That was like 125%. And then from there, my attention was right on that breakout. 
and then that's when that that what that's what my grab attention actually when I when I was screening for the for the stock. Right now the stock is just moving sideways. Yeah. So when you look when you when you look for stocks, uh, your eyes once you once you start doing it, you will be you, you will you your eyes will be just attracted. This, this, some chart setups will be just like a magnet for you. Uh, let's go ahead and keep looking here. Uh, I just want to be really quick, kind of like CRMC that's grabbed my attention right there because it just made a new high. Look at it right there. Uh, but it's been going on a channel if you notice that right in here. I prefer to, the stock to be uh, going sideways. You know what I mean? I want the stocks to be like that rather than just like a like a channel like it's been doing here. So uh, um, when I see a channel like that, I will expect some resistance right up, up in here. So uh, yeah. Uh, next page. Let's look at them real quick. Uh, I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, power is kind of consolidating right in here. Made that flag right there, and it just consolidating. That's a good one to consider. Uh, let's go back. Uh, let's see what else. What else we got? Uh, yeah, and I, and I just keep doing this over and over. Uh, I look for stocks that that uh. Uh, that that uh, actually uh, uh, 60 or 70 percent up from the low like from 52 week low usually those there there's some really good, strong stocks in there you can see in here they are like 96 uh, 96 page I don't really go through uh, each one of these page every night but I'll look at the, the, the like at least I'll look at the first 15 pages in here what I will look at some of the last uh, five ones in here so whatever my eyes got attracted to yeah I don't have to go through all, through, through all this stuff it's too much uh, so let's go ahead and look at some of these uh, charts yeah so usually usually uh, stocks that are 70% uh, higher 70% uh, up from the lows they, 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 they were actually showing some uh, some signs of strength actually uh, back in time, if if you were screening stock, if you were screening for stocks back in April, you will find Chewy, you will find a bunch of good names, LVGO, which actually a leader right now. Um, what else we have? Ninety nine six, yeah. Uh, what else is nothing? PPD. I think I I tweeted this PPD. Put it up over here. Yeah, it's coming to a resistance in here. It's a new IPO, as you can see. Yeah, I was watching this. Uh, uh, yeah, it's coming to a resistance. I like how it's flagging over here, and it just it wants to pop, and you can see that right in here. Um, yeah, so um, and I go to the next page, and I, I just keep doing this over and over and over again until I get tired of it. And let's jump into the first one. Uh, what else? Neo again pops up in here. Look at that ERCT, how it's making that higher lows, and it just, and it just uh, getting consolidation. And Fiverr. And again, I want, I'm looking at the stocks that has to be that the price has to be above the uh, 50 moving average. Uh, usually, stocks that are that they're above the 50, they, they will they will kind of show some uh, some uh, strength. LVGO, WKHS. Uh, actually this one is really good I think I was looking at it uh, WKHS I think I tweeted about this uh, and I said that your first uh, your first send in uh, line, if your first line in the sand is actually breaking out that in here that line in here that the higher of that red candle which is like what is it 1975 or something like that yeah so uh, I'll let it for me I mean I'm not I don't I'm, and I don't like to chase stock you know there's a, over 7,000 stocks out there so I don't never chase them uh, what else what else so you get the idea you have to put in the work there is no way around it you have to you have to look at charts you have to look at the supporters you will be amazed if you just uh, if you just keep looking for uh, support resistance I think I mentioned one of the pre my previous videos that I if you can just zoom out and just I mean uh, look for the obvious support resistance you will be surprised how much actually the the, the stocks react to those support resistance um, 
uh, already already in 10 minutes already so uh, so yeah so I like stocks that 70% above high I like stocks that are hitting all the time new high with with volume of course uh, I like stocks that usually uh, uh, my top stocks actually sometimes we'll look at them right in here like I said see I'm looking for stocks that are over 40 40 dollars I'm looking for stocks that really have some good uh, sales uh, quarter to quarter like 25 minimum of 25 percent I'm looking for stocks that over uh, 200,000 in uh, in volume and you can see I got GSX OSTK all the good stocks out there but it doesn't mean they, they are they came out of this in my radar that means I'm gonna have to trade them they have to set up the way I like them you know what I mean and you don't see that many only four pages in here uh, Shopify actually it's pretty good and it's consolidating right in here um, uh, and you just watch them uh, look at this one right in here DXCM actually was really good uh, what is it at DXCM um yeah look okay. it's getting tight right in here I like that but again before I look at any stocks I have to go back and look at check out the monthly you know to see what phase I'm at if you don't watch that video I think uh, recently I just uploaded look at the monthly look what what stock what what phase is stock is if you don't know what phase is look back, go back to that video and watch it and you know what I'm talking about I want to see what phase I'm at am I am I in accumulation phase I'm in a second phase I'm in distribution phase I want to know where I'm at before so I want the stock will tell me a story we got accumulation phase right in here stock just broke out right in here and from there it flagged broke out right again here and then we got that correction right in here and what is the stock is doing right now that's what I want to know the stock is it keeps going higher is it the first pullback we got the first pullback right in here we got second pullback here now it looks like we're, we're making we're just going sideways uh, uh, to, uh, to to for potential uh, move higher and look at uh, another way I want to share with you sometimes like if you don't know where the stock is doing if you if this candlestick is, is are, are too uh, they, they, they don't they don't make sense to you sometimes I just switch the view so I will go to the plot right in here I'll, put, I'll make a line and that will give you a story my friend it will make it a lot easier for you, you see that see what is the st stock has been doing just making higher lows right in here I like this trick you know I just want to share it with you and it tells you a story right there it tells you what what the stock has been doing and what it wants to do look at that volume just decreasing right in here and all that all right so uh, let's go back uh, where were we were we in here actually yep right in here so uh, yeah the, the, this is Finviz this is one of the uh, uh, websites that I usually like and I use almost on a daily basis um, I still use sometimes uh, I go to uh, barcharts.com. I think you're aware of that website. Uh, what I use, what I usually do, uh, is barchart.com. Uh, I go to stocks and hit. Uh, there's a bunch of criteria how to what stock you want to look at. I recommend this website uh, too. Uh, so I usually go to new highs, and then from there, I go to performance. So I want to actually screen stock by performance. I want to see the best ones. And I go to this 52 week right in here, 52 week highs, and then I'll click on it once so I can screen them. So I want to see the best of the best right on the top right in front of me. That doesn't mean I'm gonna I'm gonna trade all these blindly. Of course, I'm just looking at them. I just want to see what's out there. Uh, and and you go you, and you can see from here 510 uh, percent change 52 week all the way down. So I just want to I want to see the best of the best on the top. So you got Neo, you got all this stuff. VSLR you recently just broke. Uh, and then you get all these names. So this is like another way how to look at them. Uh, I like Finviz because it has it has the it, it has the chart. You can look at them. Same thing in here. You can go right on here, flip charts. If you click on it, you get the charts, and you get the name right here on the top. And then you just click here on uh, right in here, 
and then you go you can see uh, chart by chart and then one cool thing here you want to do let's say for example here you want to look at more data you just click if you want more charts you can just go back and zoom out see 20 years five years whatever you like we can go hit more data and then you will see you got all this great news and uh, and uh, and stuff that you want to look you want to get performance you want to look at the news uh technicals uh key stats whatever you like you know i think i think it's free and she should take advantage of it but yeah so uh, i used to do that back in back in time to just to screen and get my eyes trained and to as much chart as i can um yeah you can create a watch list you can do whatever you want you know so uh so yeah so that's usually basically how i screen for stocks um again if i go back to the so I got I got a bunch of stuff here. I look at for stocks that, uh, like I said before, over the 50. Uh, sometimes, uh, but but again, at the end of the day, and I need more liquid stocks. But at the end of the day, it, it's up to the the, the setup. It's uh, how the, the 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 chart is setting up. Is it above the moving average? Is it uh, is the stock above a certain moving averages? Is it uh, how is it acting towards support resistance? So th there's like a many uh, criteria that that you want to look at, uh, not just it because it hits whole time high. You want to trade it, and no, you want to look at uh, what was the one stock actually I was gonna I wanted to share with you it was uh, I forgot which one. Uh, let me pull it out. I just want to give you an example like DXCM for example. So we're looking at DXCM on on uh, on a daily. So you got DXCM here. The, the chart kind of looks kind of clean you know what I mean you, you get you get to see what stock is moving sideways it, it's gonna it made it almost like a cup and handle it broke out but if I give you an example of um, uh, what is the, the other stock I kind of forgot which ones uh, I think it's UMC I'm just gonna give you an example look how the chart is it, it's doing you know I just I just I just don't like it like like look how the stock has just been how is it acting you know what I mean Com like if I give you any you know if I, if, if I compare uh, this one to uh, to uh, to a DXCM or Apple or whatever stock you get the idea you know what I mean you, you can see it's clean you know uh, if I jump into another one for example CDNS and a chart is clean you can if, if you put it in weekly you will be easy on you to spot support resistance look at that you know it's clean compared to for example this one you know it just you can tell you can draw some channels in here but it's as far as for my preference I just you know I don't like it it just uh, it's just me again I just want to try to give you an idea and what I look at and you can see that zigzag is too much of a zigzagging I don't like that I want a clean chart so um, I hope you guys find some uh, helpful tips in here uh, give me a thumbs up help me grow this channel please uh, if this is your first time watching it subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon you take care bye bye